advanced network devices. Today we will be discussing the DECAHO 3D planning features. Uh, as you can see, uh, the um, application has been divided into two segments. On the left side, we have the access point survey and buildings. And on the right side, we have where we do the planning on the survey and we can upload the maps. To upload the maps, you simply press plus sign, you select the maps, which can be either in the graphic file formats or it can be in the CAD formats. The next step that we need to go through is scaling. After that, we define the barriers that we have with different absorption characteristics that they have. The floor alignment, which is how the floors will be related to each other uh, once they are stacked on top of each other. And we have the coverage area. And finally, we have the auto planner, or we can select the simulated access point from the list. In order to, to start the first step, we select the scaling. This hallway is 2.1 meters, which is selected. The next thing we need to do is we select the barriers. We have a long list of barriers here from bookshelf all the way to elevator shaft and everything in between, which have different absorption characteristics. For the interior walls, we use drywall as an example, and we proceed into drawing. Can see drawing is very straightforward. We can continue to build up or overlay on the map. For the elevator shaft, I will be selecting the elevator shaft um, from the list and simply will be drawing the shaft itself over where the elevators are located. Even for the doors of the elevator shaft, we have steel doors, so we can select the steel doors. For the exterior of the building, we will be using concrete, or for even the columns that we have as an example. And these are the exterior segments. continue this activity until its completion. For the windows, we also can select thick or thin window. And we continue this practice until everything is defined. The next thing we need to do is we need to do floor alignments. Again, as I mentioned before, floor alignments are how the different floors are stacked on top of each other. So we select, for example, one point, two points, and three points, which are the minimum alignment points required for the system to comprehend this information properly. The next step is to set up the coverage area. In order to do so, we will need to know exactly what area we want coverage for. It can be within the premises of the building. It can cover even the exterior of the building, depends on your requirements. So for this specific example, I will go through and cover the floor itself. And in some areas, intentionally, I'll go beyond the floor itself. So you can see it's very fast and straightforward. Now we have defined the coverage area. As it is evident in this uh, image, we have every parameter that is required by the system available. We have defined the um, scaling, we have defined the barriers, we have put the alignment points, we have defined the coverage area. 
The next thing we need to do is we either we need to put the access points in the system or we can use our auto planner feature, which will allow you to uh, basically do the network planning. However, prior to doing that, if you have multiple floors, uh, in order to save time, what you can do is simply duplicate the floors. And that is done by site, duplicate map, and that map will be duplicated. Once we go to the planning feature, we can clearly see here that we can have different requirements. For example, email or voice or high speed usage, high speed connectivity, different parameters are within the system. We will select in this example voice. We will select the type of the radio that we have. Um, or the access point itself with various radios. We have over 700 access points in, uh, in the current version and these will be added in the upper versions as the new access points are introduced. For this example, we will be using a, a dual AC radio as an example. And you can see we can optimize for 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. And I will select 5 gigahertz in this example. Um, you can select the transmit power of the access point, the height of the antenna itself, and the bandwidth of the um, uh, radio specific, the specific to this application. Now, since we are running voice, most likely we want a wider channel, so we will select 80 megahertz, and we say create plan. And based on that, in a matter of seconds, the system will define the location of the access point based on, your, based on our requirements. Now, as you can see here, we have access points throughout with different channels for both uh, the uh, AV and then we have for the N version as well. And the width are clear, that are 80 megahertz and what specific channel it's running at. If you hover over them, and you can get the inf more information about the specific access point. Now, once you say selected access points here, uh, you will not see anything because no access point is selected, but if you select all access points, every single access point will be seen clearly. And we can measure various parameters, for example, data rates, or we can select interference noise, or we can even select signal to noise ratio. Um, there, there are numerous parameters that we can uh, make more our measurements on. I will select signal to noise ratio, we can select the color that we want the heat map to appear. We can select the granulation of the heat map. And we can also select the range which the uh, survey should be for or the planning should be for. For example, I can select from 10, minus 10, all the way to minus 50 dB. And we can see the performance. Um, one of the things that we can do also here is once we go to selected access points, we can click on a specific access point and we can see the performance of that access point. So we can see the signal to noise distribution for that specific access point. Or we can add more to it by simply clicking on additional access points. And if you click one more time, it will deselect by itself. Now, as an example, let's say that for this access point, we do not have power at this specific location. However, maybe two meters over, we have a power source. So we can simply move that access point to a different location where the power is. And again, we can see the signal distribution. Moreover, once you go into this select access point, you can see that selected access point exactly where it is located at. You can see the type of radio it carries and the standard that we are, uh, the dual radio is transmitting for. Now you can modify this information by simply clicking edit. You can change the uh, basically output power uh, or transmission power. You can select the height of the antenna. You can even rotate the uh, antenna itself and you can see the visualization will change. Moreover, you can see 
the bandwidth of the of the channel that you'll be utilizing for this specific access point and then it can be modified as required how also you can select the different type of um, antennas that you have to see again how the performance will change uh, it's very straightforward also we can based on the stand or requirements that we set which was voice we can also see the network health so you can see pass fail ratios for specific access points or all access points or you can see even channel overlap which is also required it is interesting also we can go from floor to floor and analyze individually what is the performance and certainly all the access points will not be on top of each other as they will cause interference related issue moreover we can change the height of each floor we can change the type of um, flooring that we have between each floor uh, as they have different absorption characteristics and thickness will be changed as well and you can build as you go along as you can see the application is very simple and very straightforward to use you can also export the reports into predefined or um, as you require parameters that you can select by clicking and declicking and the outputs can be in the rtf or 3f format moreover we are fully compliant with cisco therefore we can export in the plan itself or the survey data into mcs or wcs file format for cisco this concludes our short demonstration of the 3D planning for Tikaho site survey.